cool shots, right? Well, none of them made it into the final version. Why? Because deleting them resulted in a better video. What? Let me explain. My name is David Walsh and in today's video I want to share three of my tips that will improve your filmmaking. Welcome to the video. I would be lying if I said this video wasn't planned. I do spend quite a bit of time planning these videos. So tip number one is plan your videos. Preparation is key. You know, I find this stage of filmmaking is perhaps one of the most important. I like to have an idea in my head of what I want to shoot, what the story needs, whether it's films for clients or it's videos like these for YouTube. I think knowing what you want to do before you pick up your camera is essential. So using storyboards and shot lists, making notes on your phone or a piece of paper before you start will make all the difference. I like to treat a storyboard or a shot list as a guide, a reference as to what I want to achieve and what shots I want and what's needed to tell the story. But you don't need to stick to it 100%. This might not be anything groundbreaking, but I believe if you plan your videos ahead of your shoot, it will make all the difference. So tip number one, plan your videos. Moving on to tip number two. Kill your darlings. Now don't worry, we're not killing anyone here. In other words, killing a shot in your timeline that you might have really worked hard for and you really like, but it doesn't necessarily drive the story forward. It doesn't add anything to it. So it's that decision-making in the editing process to remove that shot for the greater good of the story. And that can hurt, but killing your darlings will really improve your filmmaking because the overall story will be so much better. I've had to kill many darlings and I'm not gonna lie, it still hurts today making those decisions, but it really does improve your overall film. So that's my tip number two for you. And next time you're editing, don't be afraid to kill your darlings. And finally, tip number three, just do it. Now, this is more of an encouragement and I might be quoting Nike here, but there's no better way of saying it, just do it. It's so easy to be stuck on an idea and trying to keep perfecting it and procrastinating on it. And I'm guilty of that. That's why it's really important for me to share this with you, just do it. Pick up that camera, take that idea with you, and just do it. Don't overthink it, just do it. That's my tip number three, and that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could take something away from it, some encouragement, some inspiration. I hope you learned something. I had a lot of fun making it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.